Alrighty, so today we're doing a little bit of an experiment or a challenge. We're going to see if a 99 at pitching rotation and a zero overall lineup can win a World Series. I'm more looking at can we make the playoffs? Because if you can't score a run, how are you going to win games? Well, we're going to have to wait and see. But like I said, 99 overall starting rotation and bullpen and then a completely garbage lineup that is all zero overall. So we're going to see how it goes. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to it and enjoy the content. And as always, in the comment section, let me know future videos you would like to see. Speaking of videos, if you missed the last one that we uploaded on the channel, it's on screen now. And the link is going to be in the top right hand corner. Go and give it a click and it'll take you to it. Go check it out if you missed it as usual guys all social media links are down in the description and if you guys want to be featured or like want a part of a future franchise and i'm going to bring it to the channel i'm not talking about rebuilds i'm talking about an actual franchise series go check the community tab section a little bit later in the day on the channel and it'll kind of give you an idea of how to get involved in the franchise so with that being said let's hop into today's video and uh let's see if we can actually win you know a few games make the postseason maybe even win a world series with a really bad team but some really good pitching all right so as you can see first pitching everything else is really bad um i'm thinking we're gonna do like a one-year sim see how things go and if it doesn't go too great or we you know come close to winning the or winning going to the playoffs maybe we'll do a second season so what i'll do is i'll just turn trading off so it does go a little bit quicker and uh, let's just hop into it let's take a look at these rosters so I want you guys to let me know what you think our wins are going to be during the season because you guys can see no offensive production is going to be happening. I'm going to I'm going to say like the most runs we're going to score all season in one game is going to be like 4. I don't think we're going to go higher than that. So if we can allow less than 4 runs a game, I think we should win a few. But we at least got a score. So you guys can see everything is a one overall for this team. Every other team in the league is normal. So they're going to have their normal offensive power, but we're not going to have any offensive power at all. And then for the rotation and the bullpen, I went with Pedro Martinez because he was like the first name that popped in my head that I thought would be a 99 overall pitcher. And then the bullpen, I just went with Mariano Rivera because I was like, he's definitely going to be a 99 overall and he's going to be the best. So let's get rid of this guy because he's not going to help us out at all. But you guys can see. Starting rotation, long reliever, Pedro Martinez. And then the bullpen is all Mariano Rivera. We should be good to go. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Starting rotation is really good. As you guys can see, the rest of the league is normal. There's no changing their league or their teams out. Everything is the way it should be. The rosters are a little bit outdated. I think this is like right at the trade deadline. Um, just because this was the one roster I could find that had one team that was just one overall. And then I just added the pitchers from uh, from that way. So what I'm thinking is let's just play one game or quick manage one game, see how things go, and then we'll uh, let the rest be handled by the CPU. So I'm kind of interested to see how things go. We have a really good pitching core, but some really bad offense. So let's, okay, that's a good start. If we can get some errors, we'll be good. But then we head into a double play. So let's, let's get something okay there's a home run that might be game right there i think that might be uh that might be it for us we're down one nothing so uh yikes um freddie galvis goes deep so yeah you guys can kind of see it's not completely up to date because there is no bichette up but we're down two nothing we're down three nothing and uh unless we get something crazy i think that's uh that's the ball game there and that's five nothing and i'm 100 saying that's it throw in the towel stop letting these guys beat on us because that's uh it's getting a little getting a little ugly now and uh yeah that's gonna be the ball game unfortunately so i think we're gonna sim the rest of this season see how it goes and maybe in attempt number two play another game just to see if we can get a little bit of a revenge but um yeah let's see how this this season plays out and uh let me know what you guys's predictions are for the wins because as you can see you know we won one game so far so it's it's not looking too promising but a lot of the games are pretty close i'm seeing okay that one wasn't the zero, zero runs to nine that's pretty bad but i'm seeing zero to two zero to one one to three 
you know, things like that. A couple games are getting out of hand, but for the most part, I'm thinking they're really close. So the pitching's keeping us close. It's just we're not scoring those runs. So if we could score, you know, like I said, four runs a game, we should be good to go. And uh, it's we can't even do that. So I'm going to predict we're going to get 15 wins this season. So we're going to triple what we have now. Du yeah, triple what we're going to have now. It's not looking too promising, but let me know if you guys try this out in the comment section down below. Because, yeah. It's uh, it's a pretty tough challenge. Let me know if you guys have any other experiments you want to see on the channel because as you can see, I'm sitting here getting absolutely thrashed by the CPU for you guys' entertainment. So, so far we're at 10 wins. If we can sneak out five more wins, that'll make me happy, but I don't think it's possible. Yeah, we're gonna try it again because what we did, 18 and 144, I wanna at least get into that 20 category, like 20 wins. Um, we got some league leaders. I'm assuming it's pitching, which it is. Strikeouts, whip, and war. And um, let's take a look at the pitching staff because 337 is pretty solid. A good whip as well. A really good ERA and whip for this Pedro Martinez. And then, I mean, you can look at it. The, the pitching was solid. Very, very good. Like, we had one. Okay, this one, not so much. He's, yeah, you know, he kind of... We don't talk about that Mariano Rivera. He was the... The, like the the mess up you know we just we don't talk about him but everybody else did really well so let's try it again let's try it one more time let's at least try to make 20 wins and see what happens so let's load this bad boy up and i'll see you guys at the start of the season all right here we go i'm gonna i'm gonna take on a different opponent i'm gonna take on who's gonna be let's go to the the marlins and see if we can at least win that because the Marlins are pretty bad and I have a feeling we can at least sneak a win there, right? So, so far we're what, four and 10, which is a little bit better than what we were doing last year. So we might be on pace to get those 20 wins like I like want to hit, but um, this is pretty bad. This is, uh, this is like almost as bad as a completely zero overall team. So heading into this game against the Marlins who's 16 and 29, I feel like we should have a good chance of at least sneaking out a win here. So obviously we're going to have Pedro Martinez on the mound. We're not going to have the good Pedro Martinez. We're going to put a better Pedro Martinez on the mound. And um, we're just going to skip all of them because it doesn't really matter who we have out there. They're all trash. So let's see how things go. So far, so good. Oh, we're in scoring position. And uh, we didn't take advantage of it. Solid. And runner was thrown out at home, which is huge. So, so far, it is still a tall, tall, tie ball game. And uh, yeah, I'm thinking uh, we're, in a, we're in a tough spot here. We only have one hit. The only other runner that we had was a hit and then an error. So it's not looking too great. We got our second hit. And uh, it's this might be the most boring game of baseball I have ever seen. Like, if I was a, a fan at this game, I would want my money back. So, three hits. Can we do something here? Okay, first and second with one out. And then a double play ruins everything. And we're most likely going to get extra but like extra innings right here. First and second. Oh, okay, we got second with one out. Oh, man. This is, uh, this is bad. Oh, of course. Martin Prado has to ruin everything. We have our chance to at least get a win. And it's, it's not looking too promising. So there's one out. There's two outs. And that's the ball game. God, why does that have to happen that way? All right, so we were worse, just so you guys can see that. And uh, yeah, that's kind of how things went. I'll quickly show you how the pitching went, just so that you guys can know that like, hey, we were actually a pretty good pitching staff. Um, it's just the offense is absolute garbage. Did anybody hit above 200? No one hit above 200. Um, this guy came close, but uh, no cigars. So, you know, that's just the way things go sometimes. Pitching was phenomenal. If I could get this kind of pitching in my rebuilds, I would win a World Series every single time. But alas, it just doesn't happen that way. So that's, that's the experiment failed. That's the challenge just it didn't go well 
So the 99 pitching staff and zero overall lineup cannot win a World Series. They can't even make the postseason. They can't even get out of last. We are so far in last. We're 80 games. You can't see it. Now you can. We're 80 games out of the division. That's how bad we are. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up down below. Subscribe if you are new to the channel and enjoyed the content. And as always, leave a comment for future videos you would like to see. Again, guys, on screen now are going to be two videos. One is the most recent video and another is one that YouTube recommends you go and check out. So go and watch them and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.